Creating an event for an animation is a very straightforward process. We simply need to create an event key, and we need to have a script file that has a function inside that we can call up on our event. So let's go ahead and start that. We've got an object right now with the basic animation applied to it. We do not have any event keys created yet, but let's go ahead and create our script file first. We're going to go to our projects, to our create. We're just going to create a JavaScript. We'll change our new behavior script to our event script. And inside of the editor window, we're simply going to create a function that we can use for our event. So let's do this one. We're simply going to do we'll do a print event function. And inside of this, we can pass a variable if we want. We could pass in, let's say, we'll pass in a number. And inside of this function, we'll just print out to the console. Do a hello event, and we'll add in our argument from our function, and end our statement. We'll save this one out. Okay, we've created the script. Now we want to apply the script to our cube. So let's go ahead and put this component over here. We've got it loaded up here. Now when we go back to our cube inside of our animation view, we're going to find just a spot that we want to call this up. I'm going to go ahead and just drop it right here. I'm going to do add animation event by right clicking on the event line or going over to our add event button on the toolbar. We're going to just add the event. It adds it with a horizontal line. It says no function added yet. What we want to do is actually add one, so we're going to left click on this. When we left click, we can see that we have our function inside of here, our print event with an integer. And when we select it, we can see that we can actually use this integer value and pass through information if we need to pass information through. This could be an audio file, um, a variable, a string, whatever it might be, whatever the need is for that function. We'll pass in, let's say, 10. We'll close that one out. So right now this event is going to be calling up that function from the script that was applied to the cube object. And we can watch our status line down here. When we play, we're going to get to this point right in here. And let's go ahead and pull up our console window. And in our console window, we can watch the action happen. There we go. When we got to that frame, it prints out the hello event and our argument that we passed through with 10. So there are a lot of uses for the event key. It's useful if you're passing in sound files, if you're passing in just about any kind of information. Um, be sure to take advantage of it. I think once you actually set up your projects and you start working on them, um, this is something that you definitely want to integrate into that pipeline, into that process.